microprocessor is a CPU in a microcomputer. So, here in this microprocessor this is nothing but a single integrated circuits which combines ALU and uh, control unit and memory. So, here you can see the definition of a microprocessor. Microprocessor is a central processing unit on a single integrated circuit containing millions of very small devices includes transistors, resistors and diodes. So, here you can see so many examples for microprocessor. So, 4004 is one of uh, starting microprocessor with 4 bit world end and 640 bytes ad addressing capacity and 16 pins. So, it is having 16 pins that means that IC 4004 microprocessor IC is having 16 pins. So, similarly we are having 8008 uh, microprocessor that is of 8 bit you can see the world length is uh, keep on increasing from one microprocessor to another microprocessor. So, this is of 16 KB addressing capacity this is having 16 KB addressing capacity and the number of pins are 18. So, like that we are having next microprocessor 8080. So, here also the wall length is 8 bit but addressing capacity is increased from 16 KB to 64 KB. Now, the number of pins also increased in this microprocessor. The number of pins are 40 here. And coming to 8085, this is very important microprocessor that we need to discuss uh, because in, in any technical exams, they will ask 8085 and 8086 only. So, here for 8085 microprocessor, this is also 8 bit world length that means 8 bit microprocessor and here it is having 64 KB addressing capacity. And coming to the number of pins, from here onwards you are having 40 pin ICs. That means for 8085 IC we are having 40 pins. So, here we are having 8086 microprocessor in which the wall length is increased from 8 bits to 16 bits. From this onwards our wall length is increased to 8 bits to 16 bits. So, for this the addressing capacity is 1 MB. And here the pins are same with same 40 pins. Here wall length is increased and addressing capacity is increased. So, 8085 and 8086 are very important for any technical point of view, technical exam point of view. Here not only these microprocessor, we are having so many microprocessors like Pentium and Pentium Pro, Pentium 2, all these we are having as our uh, microprocessors which we are using widely in uh, today's. So, here simply microprocessor is nothing but a IC. So, integrated so many transistors, it is a integration structure of so many transistors, diodes and um, resistors. So, here coming to the bytes and the KB, so here you can see KB, KB is nothing but so kilobytes. So, here what is meant by a byte? Generally, you can observe bits in a digital data. So, bit is nothing but single digit in a binary data, it is called as bit. So, nibble is nothing but 4 bits combined uh, that is called as nibble. Coming to byte, Byte is nothing but 8 bits. That means uh, you are having 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11 like this. So, if you grouped 4 bits, then that is called as a nipple. If you grouped 8 bits, then that is called as a byte. So, group of 8 bits is called as a byte. So, now, so this is about small introduction of microprocessor. From next day onwards we are going to discuss, from next class onwards we are going to discuss the architecture of 8085 uh, processor and addressing modes and everything we are going to discuss from next class.